Hi little craft makers. Today we're making dinosaurs out of paper plates and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it all by yourself. Are you ready? Let's get started. To make these dinosaurs, you're gonna want to grab some paper plates, some construction paper, clothes pins, a marker, paint, and some glue. First, what you wanna do is you wanna grab one paper plate. You can set the other ones to the side. And all we're gonna do with that is we're gonna cut it right down the middle. So just cut it right in half. Be careful with your scissors. Make sure that you've asked your grown up if you're allowed to use scissors. If not, ask them if they can help you with this part real quick. Okay, so cut it right in half. And you actually don't need this part, so we'll set that to the side. And this is gonna be the body of our dinosaur. I think we're gonna make one that kinda looks like a brontosaurus, which is a very nice dinosaur. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to paint this. I've got a few different colors of paint here. You can do any color that you want. I'm thinking I'm going to paint him blue. So I've got a little water to keep my brush clean. Um, I've got paint brushes and a little piece of paper towel to dry my brushes off if I need to put some water on it. So add a little water to your brush and then dab it on your paper towel. And then we'll get our blue paint color and we are going to just paint this whole plate. You don't need to paint the back, just the front, unless you want to. So go ahead and paint the whole plate. There we go. Now we've painted this whole half of our plate and we're going to go ahead and paint the legs. What I'm gonna use for the legs is just some clothes pins. So what we'll do with the clothes pins once they're painted is we'll clip them to the bottom. Then he can actually stand up. Um, you don't have to use clothes pins. You can just cut legs out with construction paper and I'll show you how we're gonna cut some other parts out with construction paper and you'll just do the same thing. Can, the clothes pins will just look kind of cute on the bottom there and I'm actually gonna paint them a different color and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my dinosaur orange and blue. So I did a blue body and I think what I'll do now is do some orange legs and I'm probably gonna make his spikes orange too. So that will be kind of a fun little accent to do his legs orange. So I'm gonna clean my brush off. It's okay if there's a little on there, it's not gonna mess up your color. And then I'm gonna grab my orange paint and I'll just paint this whole clothes pin. The good thing about painting clothes pins and painting paper, it soaks in to the wood or the paper really quickly. And so you don't have to wait a whole long time for it to dry. That's one reason I like to use things like clothes pins and paper a lot, um, because then you don't have to spend a whole lot of time waiting for things to dry. So we will just paint this whole thing. And then once I've done this, I'll do one more. There we go. Those are all painted. So I've set those to the side to let them dry real quick. And while I wait for those to dry, I'm gonna make the spikes that go on his back. And then I'm also going to cut his head out of construction paper. Let's grab an orange piece of construction paper. And all we'll do to make these spikes is I'm just gonna cut out a bunch of triangles. And then when we glue them to the back, they're gonna look like spikes going along their back. It's okay if you do things that maybe the real dinosaurs didn't have. This is gonna be your special dinosaur. So do whatever you think looks fun. So we'll grab our scissors and I'm just gonna grab or cut a strip out. Just like this. And an easy way to make triangles is to first cut out just a bunch of squares and then we'll cut those squares in half and you'll have a bunch of triangles. So we'll just make some squares. All right. And then we take these squares and just cut them boop, 
right in half. And see, it's gonna make triangles. Okay, so we'll do that real fast. There we go. So we have lots of little triangles and we've got the body of our dinosaur. So what we'll do is we're gonna just put some glue on the back here and then stick our triangles there. So then when you hold it up, you're gonna see it just like that. Okay, so grab your glue, take our lid off grab your glue and we're only going to do it kind of in the middle right here because we're going to do a head coming out and a tail so make sure you leave room for those two things and then we'll move our triangles over to the side so that we can set our dinosaur body down and we'll just put some glue right around here on the top okay we don't need a whole lot and then just take your triangles. Let's see. I'm gonna pick the pointiest ones because we're probably not gonna use all of them. And we'll just stick it here. So stick it right there. Okay. And I'll hold it up so you can kind of see what that's gonna look like once we get all of them on there. So we'll put the rest on. And we'll just line them up right next to each other. Like I said, you're probably not gonna be able to fit too many. You can kind of overlap them a little bit too. Then they'll be a little closer together. Just like that. And put another one there. And I think that looks good. So we've got our spikes on there. Now we're gonna cut out a head. The head is kind of a funny shape, so I think it's a little easier to trace out your shape first. A lot of times I just go ahead and cut things, but things like heads, tails, things like that are a little bit harder to just cut out right off the bat. So it's easier to trace it with a pencil first, make sure you like the shape and then cut it out. So for the head, we're just gonna do kind of a little dinosaur head like that. And then we'll go down. Okay, and then we'll just cut that out. Okay, I actually don't want it to be too long because we're just gonna glue it to the side there. Now we have our dinosaur head and we're just gonna glue it to the side like that. So let's see, where's my glue? There we go. Put some glue there on the side. Like I said, you don't need a whole lot of glue when you're gluing paper to paper. So you don't have to put a whole lot on. And then we'll just glue that there. You can kind of look at it and decide how far out you want it to stick. I don't want it to be too far. So I guess it's not so much of a brontosaurus, but we're just gonna make our own dinosaur here. Um, and it's not sticking all the way there because I didn't put glue there. So I'm just gonna put a little glue right there and that'll just make sure it stays stuck for a long time. Okay, there we go. So there's our little dinosaur head and now he just needs a tail. So let's trace out his tail, move these scrap pieces over. And we're just gonna do a little tail, nothing crazy just like that. Probably won't even use the whole thing. I'll probably cut off that back part so it's not too long. So we'll cut it out and we'll see how long we want it. Okay. There we go. So we'll do the same thing that we did with the head and the spikes is we are going to just go ahead and glue it on. I think I actually want his little tail to stick up, so I'm gonna flip it that way. So we'll add some glue. Okay, and then stick the tail on. 
He's looking so cute. So now he needs legs. Let's put his legs on. They should be dry by now. Yep, they're pretty dry. What we'll do is you can glue them if you want. The clothespins will clamp to it so you don't have to. So you can just clamp his little legs on. And clamp there. And look at that. He looks almost perfect, but he needs two things. I think he needs some spots, and I also think he needs a little face. So let's grab, let's do the face first, just so we get, get an idea of what he looks like. And we're gonna just add a little eye. Let me turn it this way so you can see it. So we're gonna add a little eye, and then we're just gonna do a little smile right there. Doesn't he look cute? So there's a little eye and a smile, and now we're just gonna add some spots. So I will take my paintbrush, I'm gonna take one that kind of looks like this. I'm gonna add a little water, and then some orange paint, and I'm just gonna make little polka dots all over him. You could make him to look like he has scales by doing kind of a little crescent shape all around him or a little scallop shape. You can make your dinosaur look however you want. It doesn't have to look like maybe a real dinosaur. It can look like pink dinosaur. You can do a green one, even though I think there were green ones. You can do a yellow one. Any color that sounds fun to you. You could even do a rainbow dinosaur if you wanted to. So there we go. I added polka dots to him and now I think he's done. He looks so cute, but also a little scary. So I think what I will do is I'll probably make some more dinosaurs and you can have a bunch of little dinos to play with your friends together. I hope that you enjoyed making this dino with me today. I certainly had so much fun with you. I think this is an awesome craft. I hope you share it with your friends and absolutely stay tuned because I have so many more crafts to come. Bye. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'll be posting new crafts every Wednesday and Saturday, so don't forget to subscribe.